Lions TV, this is a post-match analysis video for Saturday's 2-0 win over Burnham at Den. I'm sorry the VT's late. Let's start out by saying I'll lecture you all about going to the game and then ended up not going myself. I've just had a horrendous couple of weeks at work. Well, not horrendous, just, just very, very busy. I was in Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds last week. I came home Friday. I had piles of washing, two kids to see, and I'm back on the road again tomorrow. So I decided to watch the game at home. I got a bit of shit about it, actually, but um, I'll take that as a compliment, if anything, that people love Lions TV that much. I doubt that's the real reason. Also, with the game being televised, I just thought, you know, you're all going to watch it probably on Sky, or if, if not at a den, 40,500 turn. Not a bad crowd at all for us, but... Yeah, so that, that's basically in a nutshell why I didn't go out of the game. I feel like I need to explain myself these days, like being married again. Also, due to time, there will be no player ratings, VT. What I'm going to do is I'm going to incorporate in this, VT, and just, just kill it off the M1. So let's have a look. Jordan Archer retain his place in goal. Conor McLaughlin at right back. James Meredith, left back. Jake Cooper and Sean Hutchinson in the centre of defence. Jeb Wallace on the right. Aidan O'Brien on the left. George Saville and Ryan Tunnicliffe in midfield with Lee Gregory and the return of our leader, our general, the main man, Steve Morrison, came back into the side unexpectedly. Very short-lived injury. Led the line superbly. We started the back. Jordan uh, Archer, not a lot to do. Probably give him a 6 out of 10. Well, he just didn't have a lot to do. What he did have to do, he did well. But Birmingham didn't have a lot coming forward. Conor McLaughlin at right back. He's been one of our best players this season so far, as far as I'm concerned. He, not only is defensive, but he's, he's very confident and, and very comfortable going forward. And for that reason, I'm going to give him a 7. James Meredith at left back. He's not as good on the ball as, as, as uh, McLaughlin is. His deliveries aren't as good. But he's just like a little ball that just runs through people. Uh, I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. In the centre of defence, Jake Cooper was much improved. I'm going to give him a six and a half out of ten. I still think there's more to come from Jake once he gets a few more games under his belt. Sean Hutchinson, superb again for me. Seven out of ten, just, just goes from strength to strength. Midfield, Jeb Wallace, again, uh, in contention for man of the match for me again, Jed. Absolutely, just he's just fearless at running at people. He just does not give a care in the world, does he? I nearly swore it. He just doesn't care. He just runs at people. He doesn't care what's going to happen. He's confident he's going to do something with it every time. And he's done that brilliant little Will Ferrell blaze of glory spin thing as well when the geezer tried to pick him up. And Jed absolutely mugged him off. Left midfield, Aiden O'Brien. Six out of ten for Aiden. Not one of his most effective games, but I do prefer to see him on the left and I do see him up front, if that makes sense, because just these little flicks he has, little touches, little positions he gets himself in. So, yeah, Aiden O'Brien for me. Six. Central midfield, George Saville and Ryan Tunnicliffe. Uh, I, might get a bit of, I might get a bit of hate for this. Tony Cliff wasn't man of the match, not in my opinion. He, he had a dodgy first half. He gave the ball away a few times. He did. Ve he was very much improved the second half. Uh, cut a few crucial balls. A long-range shot that he got in the way of. A couple of important interceptions. And obviously, he got his first goal for the club. It was a weak goal, though, to be fair. The keeper should be doing so much better than that. But let's not take it away from Tony Cliff. He was much improved. Probably going to give him a 6.5 out of 10. Along with George Savile, the same rating in midfield. And then up front, Lee Gregory was superb again, linked up well. Six and a half out of ten for Gregors. But seven and a half out of ten, the Lions TV man of the match goes to the one, the only, Steve Morrison, the Silver Fox. Someone someone actually said on Twitter he didn't do anything. I don't know what game they was watching, but he was he was pivotal in everything. Pivotal. Honestly, I don't know where I pull these words from sometimes. He was pivotal in everything going forward. The link up play, you know, the, the, the long dives that we do like to play. He won the majority of them. He made the goal, first goal single handedly. He got it on Sky, and for me, Steve Morrison was our man of the match. I can't see any way past that. Maybe Jed a close second. Yeah, listen, it was a it was a fantastic result. Again, and I've, I've said it, I've said it full time on, on a tweet. There is no way in the world that we are going to get relegated. You know, lean, lean on me for this one. We are this, we're just too good at home. We're too strong at home. You know, obviously not so good away, but at then at then is our fortress, and we're just. I just think we could beat anyone there. I honestly think if you know if we got a big gun in the cup, we could we could give them a game. Just just people just hate coming there. And fair play at Burnham, they brought a lot of fans down. Their team didn't really do them justice. They weren't the best at all, to be fair. But but all I'm doing this season is building. I'm looking down. I'm not looking up. I'm just looking to get us clear from that relegation zone. And as you can see, there we are now six points clear. Which at this position, you'd have definitely took it to start of the season. Hundred percent, you would have took it. Yeah, so that's it. Sorry, it is short and sweet, but duty calls, unfortunately. I'll see you in the week at some point. I don't even know what date it is. That ain't even a lie. For a pre-match prediction for Cardiff. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.